uh, what you say just a normal thing whatever he is telling you that is all like a professional chess okay that's how the people usually plays okay, okay. so follow him whatever he is saying just follow him in the normal game go ahead now okay now see how uh, if we move this pawn how many squares we are controlling one okay if we move this pawn how many squares we are controlling two okay we are controlling two squares and we are activating the bishop c you can count it as three we are controlling three okay if we move this pawn how many squares we are controlling One, two, three, four, five, five squares we are controlling. Okay, if we move this uh, uh, this one, how many squares we are controlling? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are controlling? Eight. Eight squares. Okay, if we move this one, how many squares we are controlling? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. And you can count it as well, 12. So we are controlling 12 squares with this move. If we move this pawn, how many squares we are controlling? 1, 2, 3. 8. 8 we are controlling? 3. 3 squares. Okay, if we move this pawn, how many squares we are controlling? 1, 2, 3. Right? Yeah. If we move this pawn, how many squares we are controlling? One. Okay. So tell me which move uh, control maximum squares? Uh, E4. Yes, E4. You know about these squares. These are the important squares. With this move, we are controlling these, these two squares as well. Okay. Center squares. So what is the reason why we played this move? E2 to E4? Because it controls the center and it controls the maximum squares. It uh, allows us to activate the queen and bishop. Okay, so now black to play. What do you think? What will you play? Which moves control maximum squares? Think. Your pawn to... D5. D5. Why you play D5? See, D5 is not that move. Which moves control maximum squares? D5, D5 is this move. See, we are only activating the bishop, not queen with this move. Which moves control maximum squares? If we move this one, see. One, two, or you can count it as three, one, two, three. Now this move, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven squares we are controlling. Okay, so which move is the best move here? E five. Yes, E five is the best move here because it is only move which controls maximum squares of the board. Okay. Okay, okay now here it is uh, white to play. What do you think, which is the best move? Or second opening principle says, first opening principle says we will move the center pawn and control maximum squares. And second opening principle says activate the king side minor pieces. First we activate the knight and then bishop. So, which piece will you activate first and where? You need to answer me. Your knight to e3. Knight to e3. This is the e3. Your, your knight to f3. Okay, knight to f3, correct move. This is a e4 opening, uh, uh, open line. Okay, knight f3, open line. So, black to play. How will you continue? What do you think? Which is the best move here? Now this, uh, okay, tell me one more thing. Why did you play this move? What, what did you achieve with this move? Your...
See, you achieve, you activate the minor piece, and you are after activating this bishop, you will repair, you are going, you are preparing for the castling. Okay, you are preparing for the castling. Okay, you will protect the king after castling. Okay, castling means protecting the king. So, and what else you are doing? You are attacking this pawn. You are forcing your opponent to not activate king side pieces. Okay, king side pieces. You are forcing your opponent to activate something else, not king side pieces. So, black to play. Now, this pawn is under attack. How will you protect this pawn? Which is the best move? Your knight to c6. Okay, knight to c6. Can you tell me what is wrong with this move? If your knight kills the pawn. Yes. Yes, we did it, it in last session. We'll capture now. What will you play? Uh, Queen to h5 check. If king goes here, we, sorry, first we'll see this move. If pawn goes here, capture and winning the rook. If king goes here, again capture. Now if king goes here, you can check like this. Okay. Okay. If king goes here, it is check. King goes here. Again, this is a check. And this is the last move can be. Or you can simply. Yes, you can continue like this. It is a check. You can play this move. Now it would be a next move, move will be a. Uh, checkmate is possible. Okay, you can play like this. Okay, you can play like this. You can play here, white is completely winning. And this move can, here, this move is here, check. Okay, can go here, king can go here. Mm, what can you play here? Mm, you can play this move again, check. If this knight jump here, Again, check. Queen captures. Check. Okay. Go back. Check. Bishop here. Bishop here. Uh, again, check. Okay. Now, what can you play here? This move. Pin, pin it. So, white is completely winning in this position. Okay. Uh, next move. Okay, so you cannot play this move as a black player. So why did not you play this move to protect? We learned it in the last session. Because if your knight kills the pawn, the pawn will kill the knight. Yes, but why are you not protecting this pawn with this uh, d6 uh, move? Why are you not protecting this pawn with d6 move? Because that's a wrong move. Uh, because this move is blocking your bishop. Okay. So okay. this move is best move. So now white to play. What white need to do? How will white continue? How white will continue? Your bishop to... Uh, can you give me one second? Yes. Some, something happened to my laptop. I'm not able to see the screen. See, I missed. Okay. Nana? Uh. I didn't press the, the key button, which is there and yes. You can, can you broaden this, Adi, this screen? I don't know. See. No, not this okay. one, that leeches one. Now fine. Yeah, the leeches one is very small. So, yeah. No, no, Adi, Adi. There are some dots show the uh, video like that. Oh, okay. you can... that is fine. Yeah, take your, uh, you can carry that, it. That's the wrong one. Which one? This one. No, this is the correct one, right? 
What, what you are saying? Can you see the screen uh, like leeches? Yeah, yeah. My He's screen. The leeches only. Yeah, yeah. So what is wrong there? Uh, it shown me another screen. So. Yeah. So okay. your your B sharp to uh, yes. B. Where B will you play the bishop? B five. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are two moves. You can play bishop to b5 or you can play bishop to c, uh, c4. Okay, first we will see this opening, bishop to c4. Because it is an Italian opening, because uh, we learned it first. We need to learn this opening first because the basis start from this opening. Okay, see, can you tell me why we put the bishop here in this opening? Because it's making... Because it has a lot of squares to go. Yes, bishop is controlling the bishop. We put the bishop in longest diagonal. Bishop is controlling maximum squares from this diagonal. See, one, two, three, four, three, like four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine squares bishop is controlling. So this is the uh, reason. This is the best in pair for the bishop. And bishop can go here as well. We will learn this opening uh, in some other session. So now black to play. What black? What will you play as a black player? What opening principle says to do? Your pawn to. What opening principle says what we do? Activate first king side. We activate the king side. Minor pieces first. So in this opening, uh, we activate the bishop first, not knight, as a black player. See, if you activate the knight first, this knight is going to jump here and attack this one. Now it is difficult to protect this pawn if we activate the knight, this knight first. See, see, now this knight is attacking this. If we move the queen here like this, mm, still can capture the pawn, attack the rook. Okay, or capture this one and attack the rook. Okay, if uh, we play this move, okay. Pawn will capture, our knight is under attack. If knight captures, okay, it is okay move. Knight captures, this move is coming now. Uh, this move is coming or we can see knight capture this. Okay, knight capture this. What white can play here? White simply capture it. Uh, king capture, check, see, check. If king goes back, uh, capture threaten, threatening checkmate. Okay, so we cannot act, uh, uh, activate the knight here. So first we activate the bishop here. Okay, now this knight cannot jump here because uh, the queen is controlling this square. Okay, so as a white player, what will you play here? As a white player, what will you play? Castling? Yes, castling. We can play castling here. Okay, this is a Giacopian opening. Now, black to play. What will you play? What will you play as a black player? You are... Your pawn to d5? Pawn to d5. What do black need to do? Black has activate first minor piece, bishop. And sec who will activate the second minor piece? King side, second minor piece. Who will activate the black side? Uh, king side minor piece. See this knight. Don't you think we need to activate and go then uh, protect the king? So we play this move here. 
Okay, we activate the knight. Now black to play. What will you play? Black, oh, this knight is attacking this knight, this pawn. What will you play as a black player? Yeah. B, uh, your knight to. Yes. C3. Uh, Correct. Knight to C3. What black will play? What black will play? Your bishop. Your knight to G. No, what what opening principle says after activating both minor pieces, what we need to do? After activating the king side minor pieces, both king side minor pieces, what we do? You. What we do after activating the king side minor pieces? I'm still Simply. thinking. Okay, think. Your pawn to... See, we do castling. Okay, see, everything is protected here. So we can go for the castling. This is a main line. Okay, why to play here? What will you play? Which is the best move here? Why to play? What white need to activate now? White have done everything like activate, uh, uh, complete the castling and activate the one minor piece, like a queen side one minor piece. And now what black need to do? White we need to do, sorry. Your bishop to... Bishop, how white, which bishop you want to move? The C fold bishop? Mm, we do not move piece twice in opening. Once, see, we earlier we moved this bishop hair to hair. No, we will not move it twice in opening. We need to activate this bishop. How will you activate this bishop? Your pawn to B3. Yes, pawn to d3. Okay. So where are you uh, planning to activate this bishop? Which is the best square for this bishop? Can you tell me? Your bishop to g5? Yes, bishop to g5. This is the first, uh, first uh, preference for the white to play bishop on g5. Okay. So black to play, uh, and what is your uh, next preference? Where else you can activate this bishop? This is first and second is this one. You can activate. If a black allow, black play this move, you will activate here. If black play like something like this, then you will activate like here. So what black will play here? Can you tell me? Uh, you know the plan of white. White is going to activate this bishop here. So what will you play? What will you play? I'm thinking. Yes, think. You have to prevent this move. This bishop move. How will you prevent this bishop move? Your knight to no knight no. See, you simply can play this. Bishop is going to pin your knight against queen. Then this knight can jump here. So simply, you don't allow white to to move his bishop here. So, 
Now what we where will you play the bishop? Black did not allow you to activate your bishop here. So what where will you play now? What is your second preference to activate bishop? At which square? Your bishop to e3. Yes, bishop to e3. Correct. Now, see, see, we uh, if we activate this bishop, can you tell me uh, why we we cannot consider this uh, this uh, is, this move is good move? We cannot con consider this is this move. Why we cannot consider this move? This is a see. See. Because you're only trying to capture the knight. If you move there, you're, you're capturing the bishop and the pawn. See, uh, one thing. If we activate this knight, can you compare this bishop with this bishop? Which bishop is better? Black, this bishop is better or this bishop is better? Which bishop is controlling more squares? This bishop or this bishop? Uh -huh. Both are dark square bishops. Your black bishop? Yes, this bishop. So this, if we compare these two bishops, this bishop is better. So we will ask to black just to exchange the bishop or move away. Move your bishop away or exchange the bishop. See, if the bishop goes back, our bishop become better. See, our bishop is better. If this bishop goes here, simply, we can play this knight here, attack the bishop, uh, bishop again, uh, we lose the tempo here. Black lose the tempo. Okay, so black can play here. We, it is okay move. We can capture this bishop and then uh, this pawn will capture. Here black can play this move. What black will play here? What black can play here? You are bishop to see black can capture this bishop. If black capture this bishop, there are one or uh, two and three uh, two option you can see. One and second is capture. So if black capture, white will capture like this. In this position, white got this semi-open file in three. See, this bishop is attacking this pawn, and this is the rook is attacking this pawn. And soon, uh, this knight also enjoy the party. Knight can go here to here as well. Okay, this knight can go here, and then here, and then uh, protect other knight. This is a plan. This is a dream position for the white. White want to achieve this position. So whenever you play this opening, just play like this. Okay. Just play like this. Like this. What we learn? Just play like this. Did you understand this opening? Yes. Okay. Once, once again, I will show you. Uh, give me a minute. I will show you all the lines. Uh, give me a minute. Let me delete all this. Okay. Then I will see. This is the main line. I'm just showing me uh, your main line. Then we will uh, see. Uh, we will learn. Uh, first, you need to learn this uh, line. Then we will le uh, learn. If your opponent make mistake, how we how we will how we can punish him in this line? E two to e four, like this. This move is coming. You cannot play the knight here. If you play, this knight will jump here. So here. Uh, you, you now it can jump here. So you will play this move. White will go for the castling. Uh, black will play this move. Okay. So white will protect this one. Okay. And black will do castling now. White will play this move. Black will play this move. White will play this one. Like this. So it is a dream position for the white. Okay. 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 See, see this again. See this. 
Oh, sorry. See this. What happened to it? Okay. E four, E five, Knight F three, Knight C six, B C four, B C five. Okay. Castling, Knight F six, Knight C six, Knight C three. Sorry. Castling. We play this move here. Okay, this move is coming. Then this this is our dream position for the white. See again. Focus, focus, see again. See. Okay. See. E4. Okay, so now I will stop recording and I will send this uh, uh, session to you. You watch it again and again. Okay, give me a okay. minute. Give me a minute. I will stop recording. <laughs>